So recently I've seen a lot of these story time horror dating videos and I have always kind of think, oh, they're, they're clickbait, they're, 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 they're clickbait. Until, um, until I experienced it myself. Uh, 2013, I went on a date with a guy from Bristol. I had just broken up with my fiance and was, went on to OkCupid and was like, I need to get myself out there, I need to move on. And uh, I found a guy who lived in Bristol, which I've never been to before. I started talking to him and he said, why don't I come over and, and see you? And I said, right, okay. So I lived in Trowbridge at the time. This guy comes over on the train, really good looking. Like he looks like um, the guy from Guns N' Roses, Axl Rose, before he put on all the weight. Uh, he looks like Axl Rose. So Axl Rose comes to my house, okay? And we get on really well. We got on really, really well. Uh, he ends up telling me that he is going to be having a party with his friends the day after at his house in Bristol and asks if he can stay over. So I let him sleep in my double bed with me. Nothing happens, nothing happens at all. Um, and that was a weird experience anyway because I'd never had someone that I didn't particularly know stay over at my house, that was a bit weird. Um, so the next day we jump on a train to Bristol. By the way, nothing was stolen. So that <laughs> thumbs up to that. By the way, I do not recommend anyone doing this. This is a period of my life where I think I was a completely different person. I had just started transitioning and my hormones were all over the place and I just felt I, I was a very weird and different person. Uh, so yeah, it, that kind of explains some of this. So we go to, um, we get on the train to Bristol, okay? Uh, we then jump on a bus in Bristol. This is a place I've never been before. I have no clue uh, We end up at this guy's house now. This guy's house is behind a, <laughs> a Kebab takeaway, right? We get to this guy's house windows are blacked out curtains closed uh, It's a dingy looking place to begin with so of course immediate alarm bells are going off, but me being the most trustworthy person in the world doesn't see that this could be any issue, okay? I look at it and go, yeah, all right. Uh, we get inside, and the first thing I will say, we get inside and a waft of cannabis, like just full on cannabis flies out the door. Uh, we get in there and he's got a friend in there um, and he's just he's just high as a kite. Uh, and we, we go in there I walk through, then it's kind of like a narrow, narrow, like, room that goes all the way down to a kitchen at the end. Now, when I say I have never been in a place so dirty, I am not lying. This place had mold on the walls, mold growing on the walls, uh, mold all over the, uh, the food and the, um, and the cutlery and plates and everything else. They are thinking at this point, Roxy, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you get out? Roxy, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I hate myself, okay? I thought, no, 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 no. Benefit of the doubt, maybe maybe there's there's a reason for this. Uh, I end up staying at his for a week. <laughs> no idea why. Mainly because I had no way of getting home. <laughs> without his help. Uh, but that's not the worst thing. So, literally, he had a horrible sleep pattern. He would go to bed at about four o'clock in the uh, in the morning. Uh, and no, it wasn't. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon he'd go to bed and wake up at night. It was very weird. So most of the time I just spent sat there listening to him tell stories about his armor group who were a fictional game group he'd made and he then pulled out, and I'm not telling a, a word of a lie, he pulled out a photo album. A photo album. Screenshots from the game, mind you, of his crew. <laughs> okay, I, I, can, I can admit I'm a nerd, I'm a gamer, but even I have not got an album, a photo album, of my gaming experiences. 
<laughs> I mean, the odd picture of Boone every now and again is fine, but that, this is this is ridiculous. Third night, I think it was. I'd slept in his bed, obviously, but uh, as I said, nothing happened. This entire time I was with him, and the entire time I met him, nothing ever happened. I realized and noticed that his bed had a kind of like a, um, a plastic cover over it, over the mattress. And I was thinking to myself, well, that's, that's a bit weird. But maybe it's one of those, like, comforters. I don't know. I was an idiot. Um, and the day before I left, I looked up and there were boxes of adult nappies. It, uh, now, I just want to say, anyone who suffers from a medical issue where they need adult nappies, no issue at all. And and I also don't, I don't think I have any issue with, with a fetish of adult nappies. But when you're put into an experience where you can't escape, and you're staying with a guy who, I'm guessing, pees himself at night, deliberately... He's very weird. And <laughs> that that freaks me out. The day after I found out that I left, I ended up getting a taxi and was like, yeah, I'm out of here. I don't know why I didn't leave before this point. But th you've got to remember, this isn't me. This is not me as I am now. This is someone else. I don't know who I was back then, but my life experiences have taught me that uh, don't just go with a stranger. <laughs> If they offer you candy, don't just get in their van, guys. That is my horror story. Nappy guy. Nappy guy. We're going to call him Nappy guy from now on. If he's watching this... <laughs> I'm so sorry. But this, this, you've got to understand, this was a bit of a shock for me. Okay? Thanks for watching, but until next time, tell me your horror stories. And until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys. <laughs>